Yo, we saying peeps, welcome to the monkey pad. First things first, massive thanks to Rob and Kieran from Vasara Sim, who very kindly popped over on Sunday for a little bit of tea and duggets. Not only is everything all working lovely jubbly, they also brought me a gaming PC, which you can see down there. It's an i7 running a 1070 Ti, so more than enough to run this setup. What's pretty cool about this uh, this whole rig is the wiring setup is pretty tidy. Considering how many controls and how many wires there are, you pretty much can't see much of it at all. Of course, today we shall be doing some virtual duggets. I'm not quite online yet. I'm gonna be setting up my streaming PC over the next couple of weeks. Gotta just try and get my head around all of that. Um, for now, we're definitely gonna be doing a few duggets today. I'll plonk the camera up behind and you guys can see the setup and how I drive, if I can actually drive on a virtual sim. You can just about hear the SR20 rumble in the background. I'll turn it up a little bit. Hear that SR20 goodness. Mmm, SR baby. I'm not gonna lie, I did have a little go on it yesterday once it was all set up. I played for about two hours, so I've got a tiny bit of seat time in. I did crash up the bank probably 25 times. Um, since then, I've actually got a little bit better, and hopefully I can show you guys in a little bit, and you can kind of tell me in the comment section, am I rubbish, or am I the next um, Jimmy Broadbent? Norm. One thing that does take a little bit of time with these sims is just getting all the settings right. A lot of it is user dependent, you know, my perfect settings might not be your perfect settings. I'm just actually going to run through with you what settings I've put on my Fanatec CSL Elite. Obviously if you've got a Thrustmaster or a Logitech or a, or a different wheel, um, this probably won't apply to you. But I'm going to show you what I've done on my CSL Elite. So if you're watching this in the future and you've got a CSL Elite, hopefully this helps you. Um, yeah, let's let's run through it. See if we go across. Yeah, sensitivity I've got on 90. That's that should equate to 900 degrees uh, steering angle. Then we've got force feedback. I've got on 100, so it's it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty tough. I've tried to make it kind of as realistic as possible, so it feels like you're actually driving a car. Uh, you do get pretty worn out after a good few laps, but that's exactly how it should be in real life. Um, shock I've got on. 60 which is basically just like the vibration i haven't sort of got too much vibration abs i've got off uh, dr that's like a, the drift mode which as far as i can tell with kind of the sensitivity of the power steering i've got that on minus four um, when i've got it on zero i find it's way too snappy um, but yeah again that's a personal preference but mine's on, on minus four now you've got kind of like three settings for the force feedback so you can kind of fine tune the fo uh, force feedback settings so this again i've got on 100 so it's, again it's pretty stiff uh, spring I've got on 50. I think that's basically the springiness of, of how quickly it counter steers back to you. DPR is damping. I've got that on 30. That kind of just sort of dampens the wheel when it comes back so it's not too aggressive. Um, and then FEI I think is like the feel, like the weight of the wheel and I've got that at 50. Again, uh, probably sort of, you know, depending on what you want, you can go up and down, but yeah, mine's on 50. BenQ monitors are now looking pretty sick. We've lined them all up now so they're all nice and equal so you get a proper sort of driver's perspective. I do need to have a little play around with some of the um, some of the field of view and some of the sort of uh, the view settings. But yeah, I will do in time. For now, I do think it does look pretty pretty lifelike. What are you saying, Gigi? Just in the fridge. You get out of the fridge, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have never seen around the monkey kitchen. We have, this is what we eat. We like, we like some Pringles uh, prawn cocktail. Very norm norm. Nutella, that's for Gigi later. <laughs> Pancake day, you need Nutella. <laughs> How you doing, Giovanni? Giovanni. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much. It's Colin. This is Colin. Who's got, mum's got Brian? Mum's got Brian and she's got Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> we give our we give our cactus very strange names, but yeah, this is Colin the cactus. We have an array of fruits. Monkey obviously likes a banana and an apple. Doesn't, monkey doesn't like that banana, that's gone a bit <laughs> But monkey, monkey likes apples. Monkey likes a banana. We've also got Henry Hoover. He's the star of the many, many Twitch shows. Uh, Mr. Henry in the background. Before we start doing some virtual duggets, I've got a few orders I need to pack. So I'm gonna crack on with that and I'll see you back here very shortly. Thank you, 
Mrs. ML for all your help. No problem. Stunning lady as always. So yeah, Mrs. ML and I, we've packed up all the orders which are over here. They are all ready to go. This is today's lovely jubbly. So if you made an order today, many thanks. Like I said before, we've got a whole load of stuff coming out um, sort of as the year goes on. Next thing we've got coming up are hats. I put a little a little picture in now. That's the first hats we've got coming up. We're going to be doing snapbacks and baseball caps, like a sort of standard ML cap with loads of little sort of trick details. So yeah, hope you guys are going to enjoy that. And we've also got lanyards. lanyards. <laughs> yeah, we've got two designs of lanyards coming out. That, um, that, yeah, we chose and we got coming in in probably about two weeks. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff coming up. Right, into the Dragon's Den we go. Let's see if I can smash the sim world. Oh, shit, I'm not in gear. Uh, what the? Why well, my gears not work? <laughs> this is a little bit of an issue with this. Uh, of course, I've noticed it's a tiny bit glitchy, so yeah, I'm going to back out and retry it. Yeah, right, we got gears, woo! Right, take two. Yeah, I have noticed Aceto is a little bit glitchy at times, but yeah, quick little reset of the controls, and we are good to go. So this is Minami at Abisu, the one that's famous for the jump, and we're driving a 180SX. It's a little bit laggy, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Boost, baby. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's so realistic this man. Proper workout as well, my arms are feeling it. <laughs> Jesus man. Let's give her a whirl. Right, bit of mark to goodness. Drift out of the pit, standard. Oh, oh, well, it's a bit different to the old S13. Oh yeah, we need, so yeah, first things first, maximum boosts. Right, done. Oh, he's fucked it already. Ah! <laughs> Shit, man. Right, that didn't happen. Right, bit of north course, here we go. Bit of clutch kit. Oh. Oh. Sketchy. 
Come on, what? She's a bit slow this one. Back E! Oh! <laughs> Shit, man. Really? So yeah, that's pretty, pretty sick. I'm not going to lie, my arms uh, worked like I've actually been driving the track. Um, yeah, a lot more practice obviously needed, but yeah, hopefully I'll get there over time. This is going to be the S15, so I should be half decent with one of these. Oh yeah, more boost, there we go. There we go. Bit of an ass drag. That's better. Here on a fucking entry. <laughs> I think there's a bit of a ditch here, man, so I don't think it'd be quite as smooth in, uh, in real life. I'm going to be getting these monitors and the gaming PC all connected up to OBS Streamlabs so we can start doing a bit more Twitch. Um, and you guys can sort of see it from a first person view. And we're doing a bit more vlogging tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye.